It's Victor from Sackpoint.com with a Protector UTM VMware version. As we can see here, I have downloaded the image from the server and I have unpacked it and then I have the following files. Now I go to the VMware software here and I'm running the workstation version. You can also use different versions such as the player version. Uh, what I do now is I click on open existing VM or team and then we see the file here and I'll just click it and then it will load up. Once it is loaded up here we can customize several things. For example you can choose how much memory you want to give uh, the protector and as a recommended minimum 512 megabyte of memory or like one gigabyte. If, if you have a powerful server or computer you can even give it two gigabyte or more to get more performance. Now, when you are installing the protector UTM, you can install it in two ways. One way is that you will only use one network card and give it an IP address and put it on the network. And then to get web filtering and email scanning for spam and virus, you will then manually forward all email traffic to the IP address of the protector and forward all the web traffic as well. Another way to install it that is more uh, recommended is that you install it in bridge mode. When it is running in bridge mode you only need two network cards in the computer or the server. Once you have put in the two network cards then in the first network card you put in the connection to the internet like the router or where the internet is coming from and in the second network port you put in a connection to the local network. So that means the protector is the bridge from the internet to the local network. This way all traffic is forced to go through the protector and then will be scanned for spam and virus and you have web traffic and intrusion prevention and content filtering. So that's the recommended way to do it. Um, as we can see here I have network adapter 2 that is using the custom VMnet 0 and I have network adapter 4 that is using the custom VMnet 1 and to customize the network cards I go to edit and virtual network editor and then it is now loading up the network configuration and as we can see here uh, the first one I have is called Broadcom and that's the built-in network card in this system here and uh, when I click it here you can see it is set in bridge mode and it is bridged to the Broadcom adapter. And I can just move this to the right so you can see here it says VMnet 0 and VMnet 0 here. And the next one we have is VMnet 1 and this is bridged to a 3Com Etherlink card and that's an extra network card I have in the computer. So the important thing is in the VMware you do not give it an IP address or anything. All you do is you bridge it to the network card. Then when you start up uh, the protector then it will take care of the IP address and all the other things. So uh, now everything is looking good and I will just power it on here so it is starting up. Sometimes when you power it up the first time then it will ask you if you have if you it's a new installation and if you want to copy the files or move them and always select move them. So now we are just waiting for it to start up and that will take a few moments here. Once it has started up here in the graphics interface, then you can either click the Chrome browser or the Firefox browser to do the configuration of the device. And you see here I have the Chrome browser started up and then you can continue the configuration process. And for more information, please visit SecPoint.com. Thank you.